Uh, you're with Onga TV, and uh, we're here at Tikakino on the day of the Bevington Shield Challenge uh, CHB defending against Northern Wanganui. And with me here, I have uh, Match Day sponsor, uh, a member of the Match, Match Day sponsor team, James Hamilton. Uh, James, tell me a little bit about Brent. Uh, so Brent are the uh, John Deere dealer for the North Island uh, in New Zealand. Uh, it's a Canadian owned company, uh, owned by family in Canada. Um, they are mainly into uh, construction forestry equipment, but um, in the last two years we've, um, they've moved into New Zealand and taken over and bought out all the John Deere dealerships in New Zealand and uh, yeah, they're sort of looking to move, move things forward, which is great. Yeah. Okay, and you've come out here as the match day sponsor. Um, you do a lot of sponsorship in Central Hooks Bay? Yeah, we try to. We try and be involved. We're involved with the um, Central Rugby team, the um, Prongahau Rugby Club, and, and try and get involved in as many community activities as we can. We um, sort of we, we like to be part of the community and and, and spend our spend our sponsor dollars um, looking after the locals. So yeah, we, we try and do as much as we can during the rugby season, cricket season, everything we can do. So yeah, great cricket as well. Yeah, we try to. I've sort of uh, yeah started rolling my arm over again last year for yeah. the Wallingford team. So yeah, that's uh, yeah. Help me get back into the into the game, but yeah, we try and do a bit around the place and a bit of tennis as well. So yeah, okay. yeah. So we could look forward to a little bit of sponsorship from Brant for the CHB Cricket Club. Always, always, no worries. <laughs> you heard that live on Onga TV. Uh, Jimmy, uh, uh, t- tell me a little bit about your rugby career. Oh, so yeah, I uh, one of the reasons I wanted to get involved with the Bemington Shield team. I played a few games for for the Central Bemington Shield team back in the in the mid two thousands. Um, played a. F- uh, a number of years with the Central Prems um, and then yeah sort of played rugby my whole life so yeah rugby is the game I love and um, it's cool to be able to be sort of bring the bring the team along and be involved still with rugby in, in Central Oaks Bay and um, yeah see the Bemington Shield still being held up for grabs is, is great it's a it's a fantastic subunion trophy and um, hopefully more more teams and clubs around the country will get into it because it's a uh, yeah subunion rugby is awesome yeah it's a big part of the Hamilton family isn't it I caught up with Jane and, and Molly out at the Onga Sevens the other day out there also displaying their sponsorship and, and what a cold, miserable day it was out there. I don't know whether you got out there yourself. No, I didn't actually. No, I didn't get out there. But no, we've um, yeah, we're all the whole family's still involved. Like my brother Tim's the manager of the Central um, Bevington Shield team and still involved with junior rugby in Central Oaks Bay. And uh, both myself and Molly and her husband Baldy have got um, kids playing junior rugby now on a Saturday morning. So yeah, it's uh, the next generation's coming through of Hamilton's playing Central Oaks Bay rugby. So yeah, it's great. It's great to see. James, did you ever play rugby out here on the Tico ground? Uh, I think I played one game out here years and years ago. Um, I think we bought a Premier Ego game out here years ago and played out here, but no, haven't haven't had the pleasure out here, but it looks like it's a great field and um, I've had a few social activities out here, but no, not a lot of rugby. (laughs) Just talking to Stu Gibson before, a member of the Onga Tico club, and we were talking about the importance of rural rugby and, and the importance of rural rugby along with that comes to sponsorship because, you know, sponsorship is needed to run these clubs. They oh, can't do it on their own. Oh, exactly. And and, and rugby is getting harder and harder to, to keep teams on the field. And, and like I say, we, we look at look at, at a sort of prong how and the, the, the inroads that they've made and the Tiko team out here, they're, they're playing some great rugby and they've got some great membership um, going along, which is really helping sort of revive country rugby and um, especially in places like Hawke's Bay, the country rugby is the sort of the it's the the, the backbone of the communities in, in a lot of places, and it's great to see the clubs really bouncing back and having a lot of membership and a lot of um, having and playing some really good rugby too. Mm. Yeah, and getting the support from people like you and and the locals. I mean, the local um, people turn up here regularly uh, in mass, yeah. and um, uh, yeah, it, it, it's so good to see. Yeah, it is. It's great. It's um. We, we like to be out, get out in the communities that we're involved in as well and sort of yeah, spending spending days standing on the side of a field, even if it is a bit cold, is, it's a not a bad way to spend a Saturday afternoon looking watching a, some great country rugby. Tell me, it, it would have been a, a harrowing time for the agriculture business in recent, um, well, years, I would say, with the weather conditions, COVID, all sorts of things happening? Yeah, it has been. It's been really tough, especially the last 12 months in, in Hawke's Bay and Central Hawke's Bay in particular with, with the flooding and everything we've had. It's it's um, it's been really testing and it's it's a testament to the to the character of some of the farmers we've got around this, around the area that they, they can bounce back and they're, they're, you see them, they've still got a smile on their face. They're still working hard and they, they love what they do and they, they you have to with, with the conditions we've had over the last few years and the, the sponsorship is a is a way of us giving back to to the farming communities of Central Hawke's Bay and and the wider Hawke's Bay area to I suppose to back them up and and help them 
have something outside of the farm that they can go and do and, and have a bit of enjoyment. So it's yeah, it's it has been very tough, and hopefully the hopefully times will change and things will turn around a little bit and um, prices will go up and 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 a bit of the feeling will come back into it. So hopefully that'll be the next couple of years will be a little bit brighter than what the last 12 months have been anyway. Yeah. We're going to need things to start drying up now so crops can be planted yeah, exactly. and then a good season so crops can be harvested because there were crops that weren't able to be harvested this year? Yeah there were, there was a lot of um, there was a lot of, a lot of crop left on the ground which is, you never like to see because of, all the inputs have already gone in um, and it's the, the payday was never sort of realised so hopefully we can, uh, the weather will play ball and we can have a reasonable season and um, we can start getting a bit of feeling back into the, into the, into the farming community and, and um, the positivity can turn around and, and it'll be great, it'll be great to see. Mm. Cheers James, look thanks so much for your input no and worries. we hope you get a little bit out of that. Look, look out for it on Onga TV. Will do. Will Good do. on you.